I know uh, I went to Africa. I'd beaten uh, Joe Frazier pretty easily, uh, Ken Norton, all the people who had beaten Muhammad Ali. So I thought this would be the easiest $5 million I was going to pick up. Got into the ring with Muhammad, beat him up for the first three rounds. He hit me a few times, but then after a while, I, I just knew I was going to knock him out. I hit him hard in the third round, and he looked at me as if to say, I'm not going to take this. Then he said, no way he's going to slug it out with me, and I wailed on him. Then the bell rang. He looked at me as if to say, I made it, and I thought, oh, my God, he made it. And I knew I was in trouble then. The water had gotten just gotten deep. And then about the sixth, seventh round, as he said, he started whispering, that all you got, George? <laughs> and believe me, that's scary because that was all I had. Wow. <laughs> and and, and uh, so, oh, go ahead. And he hit, he hit me with a, a quick one-two, mm. knocked me down to the canvas, and uh, my whole life changed. I was devastated. Mm -hmm. Little did I know I would make the – best friend I ever had in my life, that fight made it that way. Mm. How did that happen? Help us understand how, you know, you would go for that moment, that go from that moment of being on the ground and he would taunt you with that's all you've got and then he would become your best friend? Yeah, you know, it's something about uh, Mohammed. Uh, I saw, uh, and everybody should know this, I, I, I was trying to court a girl and I invited her to have dinner with me. And I told her that I was going to be a boxer. She said, really? I seen uh, Muhammad Ali on the street. And he was just saying, I'm beautiful. Look at me. You know what? I never dated that girl again. I got so upset. Mm. But then I met him myself down the street in, in New York City. He was walking down the street with just a pair of slacks on. And I said, man, he is beautiful. Mm. So after you get out of the ring with him and look at him, Everybody falls in love with him. <laughs> you can't help it. He <laughs> was one lovable, good-looking, great guy, mm. and you wanted, you wanted to be around him. I was excited to meet him and happy to be his friend. Mm. So that was, your, that was the start of your relationship after Zaire, but then what about before that? When, you know, the, the expectations were built that it was going to be George Foreman against Muhammad Ali in the ring, what did you think about... Muhammad Ali, the boxer, the man, before you got in the ring with him? Didn't, didn't think too much of it as a man, but he was one celebrity I'd seen on television, the first guy on the news saying he was the greatest. I'm beautiful. I'd never seen anything like that. It was a phenomenon. And the guy put on a show everywhere, but I'd beaten the guys who had given him trouble. I was certain I was going to knock him out. Certain. I didn't have any respect for him as a boxer at all but let me tell you after that Zaire ep episode <laughs> too much respect mm. and then what did you what were your impressions of him as that young man uh, who said I will not go to war to Vietnam I will not go to kill people who had to put his entire boxing career on hold he was forced to do that for at least three years until the US Supreme Court stepped in and allowed him to box again what were your impressions of this young man and you know and and the courage that it took for him to do that but at the time people weren't using the word courageous you know it's surprising I remember what the day that he resisted the draft and everybody turned on him I mean literally everyone I hadn't even gone into boxing yet everyone no one wanted to be in his presence no one wanted to be his friend and he was dropped and uh he made it he still made himself available he traveled around the country he loved to be in the media he loved but nobody wanted to even put him on television i was once doing an interview in miami florida he came into the gym and they turned the cameras off because they were interviewing me for my fight they turned the cameras off until he got out of the way that's what happened to Muhammad Ali. And of course, he got he had a second chance to come back and boy, the greatest show on earth he was, the greatest show.